That right there behind me is the Mississippi River. You got the Enbridge or the Hernando de Soto Bridge running right here, right next to downtown Memphis. You wanna know what it's like to live in the Memphis area here, all the good things, all the bad things. Stick around, we're getting into that right now. So we're up here today, I'm up here with Chris, up here on top of this pyramid, and uh, got a pretty good breeze up here. Yeah. It's still hot, but uh, <laughs> it's bright up here too, y'all, so yeah. I gotta make adjustments here as we go. I should've brought my shades like you, Jerry. I know, I keep telling him, but uh, y'all, we wanna get into the pros and cons. We're gonna do it a little differently. We usually, I think we start with the pros. I'm gonna go straight with the cons this time, if that's okay with you. That's fine by me, Jerry. So uh, we'll jump right into it here. The first one is the one, I just wanna get it out of the way, before we even get going. Yeah, let's just put has, it all on the table you know, right now. Just here's like, like, the like all the comments we get. Yes, the crime. You know, there is a crime issue uh, here in, in Memphis, in parts of the city, you do have that. And I think we've covered it pretty much to death. Yeah, at this hopefully, point. hopefully this will be the last time we have to talk about it for a while. Yeah, you know, but it, look, we want to acknowledge it. We, it does happen. And if you look here, I'll put these on the screen. I'll put some uh, links down in the, I'll do a pinned comment so you can see all our other videos about the crime. You want to know, what kind of crime is going on, where to find it, uh, to kind of check around and do some research and see where it is. We got all that on there. So uh, yes, there is a crime problem. Does it really impact you that much? If you're not, if you're not looking for trouble, mm. eh, you know, I'm not gonna say it can't, but it really, it, it most likely won't. It's one of those things. You go looking for it, it'll find you. I, I agree, Jared. But I wanna say, kind of jumping from that, uh, the crime and really the poverty aspect of that too, I think is gonna be improving. I and think that's so our too. next pro. Yeah, so that's the number one pro, guys. The best pro we've got going right now is all the new development and money that's funneling into the city. And you gotta hope with all that investment, things being improved, that that's gonna push some of the crime out because you've got new tax revenue, we can upgrade the police force, upgrade camera systems and things like that to keep an eye on spots of high crime areas. So I think all that new development that's coming into the city right now is gonna push that crime to the side and um, there's a lot going on in Memphis right yeah, now. Yeah, and you know, we talk a lot, we have in the past about the new Ford plant, which is outside, right outside the city, yeah. uh, or outside the metro area. But, but I mean, if I spin around here, you can see cranes behind us. Uh, if I spin around again, you got cranes over here. There's growth going on. Things mm -hmm. are happening yeah. uh, here in the area. Keep adjusting this light for y'all. Yeah, right there where you were just looking, Jared. So that's the new St. Jude expansions. That's a multi-billion dollar project they're spending right down there in the Pinch District. Um, new housing, new restaurants, all that is being updated. And um, man, I can't wait till that gets finished. That's a, that's a big money project happening right there, right by the pyramid yeah. in the Pinch District of uh, downtown Memphis. Right, with all that new growth, new job opportunities, money coming in the area. Yeah. I think it's a good time to be looking at Memphis. And I want to point out too, Jared, those are high paying jobs, right? I mean, right. those are medical jobs, those are professional um you know those are high paying good good jobs in the city and to me that brings a lot more revenue to the city and um yeah it's very positive positive. and hey y'all before we get to the next one i just want to jump in and say if you like videos like this learning about memphis uh you know information and also getting out and seeing the whole area you know seeing the, the areas neighborhood suburbs make sure you do subscribe uh click the bell while you're here and of course if you're thinking about moving here that's why you're watching this. Make sure you do reach out. Yeah, reach out to us, guys. Call me or text me at the number below. Let's talk about it. Let's develop a game plan together and start that move right here to Memphis. Okay, guys, we're at our next location here, right here on Main Street in downtown Memphis. We were talking about, on the top of the pyramid, we we're talking about all the new development. You can see the cranes operating in the background. That's going to be a brand new parking garage along with retail spaces down low. That's a good spot to park when it gets finished, right at the corner of Bill Street in Main. But we are going to lead into our next con. The con here in Memphis is limited public transportation. Not much public transportation in the area. But right here on Main Street, there is a trolley that runs up and down Main Street. There is the Matta bus line that stays within the, the interior part of Memphis. But as far as living in the suburbs and things like that, uh, public transportation is pretty limited, Jared. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. We, like, we, it, we do have public transportation. Not that we don't have it at all. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would say too, just to go along with this, you're probably going to be car dependent just about wherever you are. Now there are a couple places like we've talked about the South Bluff yeah. where you can kind of, you know, if you, I guess if you work remote, <laughs> you can get away with being mostly without having to have a car there. Right. Um, and then you, there's a couple other little spots around town, but as a generally, you know, you don't have to drive to work. You don't have to, you know, drive to get where you want to go around town. So that's that, but that's going to lead into our next 
uh, pro kind of with really just where we are here mm -hmm. uh, with where we've got the trolley. You can see, I, I was hoping it would come by a little earlier. Uh, <laughs> but you've got tons of stuff to do here. And I don't just mean like right here on Bill Street. Of course, Bill Street is a big thing. Yeah, right? that's you the know? obvious one, right? Yeah, that's the obvious one everybody knows about. But even right here next to Bill Street, uh, and you can have a good time on Bill Street, but right here next to it, you've got uh, the FedEx Forum. Yes, you do. So you got the Grizzlies, and right up the road, you got AutoZone Park. Yeah, AutoZone Park is a great spot to come watch minor league baseball. One of the best parks in the country right there um, for the Memphis Redbirds. Yep, so that's just the downtown activities. You've also got parks. You've got the new Tom Lee Park they're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the other one over there by Harbor Town that I always get the name wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Green Line. The Green Line, that's right up yeah. there, uh, right along the river there by Harbor Town. You've got Overton, you've got uh, uh, Shelby Farms, big part. Yeah. Shelby Farms is a jewel of Memphis. When you're in town, visit Shelby Farms. Huge lake, you can go kayaking, paddle boarding, you got hiking trails, biking trails, horseback riding. Shelby Farms is one of the best parts of Memphis. Yeah, so if you want to get outside, go outdoors, you got plenty of options for that. Uh, tons of history here to check out things, you know, exhibits and museums to, to see here in the city. Yeah. Uh, a lot of significance, a lot of things happen here in Memphis, so uh, you got all that here that you can check out. So tons of stuff like that that's basically available year round or, or most of the year in some of those. Mm -hmm. uh, also you got, uh, you know, you can get out shopping, you got major shopping centers, you got an outlet down just south. I think there's just tons of dudes, just about anybody. Yeah. Now I will say though, our next con is the one thing that might stop some of y'all from getting out <laughs> outdoors a little bit. Yeah, that's the summer heat, guys. The summer heat is pretty hot here in Memphis, and it's not just the heat, right, Jared? It's the uh, it's the humidity. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. say that often. So if the temperature is 98 in Memphis, the heat the heat index is pushing 110. I mean, the the summer heat is really oppressive here in the city, and this summer seems to have been especially hot, right, Jared? Yeah. Well, I think it was like that for a lot of the country. I think we okay. had record heat pretty much the entire south, you know, yeah. and and. and too but but you know that's why we had to hop over here in the shade it does feel a lot better i will say in the shade now it's as we're shooting this it's 9 30 in the morning yeah it's according to my watch it's 75 degrees the humidity makes it feel a little warmer but the shade it feels great over here it's it got does. a nice breeze coming through here so i will say as big of a con as maybe that summer weather is an even better pro is the weather the rest of the year that's true jerry the other three seasons here in memphis they're great we've got a long fall we've got a mild winter and an early spring so the other three seasons in memphis are quite great to get out and enjoy all the things happening in the town yeah so i mean it's the city not, yeah, yeah, right in the city in the whole metro area i mean you got this yeah. stuff all over the city so so you are here we, go. we got the trolley coming by here i'm gonna let them get by here you go this you want to see the trolley here it goes that's the trolley running down South Main, guys. But yeah, it's it's a great it's a great place to get out and enjoy. Pretty much, I'm gonna say most of the year, and even in the summer, you know, that late afternoon it gets hot. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the time, you know, where else can you go? Where I would say nine, ten months out of the year, it's great to be outside. I would agree. You know, so you got that here. All right, now since the weather was a con and a pro, right. I'm just gonna run with two pros here because I got two back to back. Uh, and we're right here in front of all this construction you see behind us. That's St. Jude. They're adding on some stuff here. I don't know if you know anything about what they're adding. Yeah, it's a big expansion, a multi-billion dollar project happening right here in the Pinch District, downtown Memphis. Yeah, so that's going on. But the, the pro here is, is the top-notch medical facilities that you have, St. Jude being a big, well-known one. Uh, you know, people come all over the world. Yeah, St. Jude. they do, Jared. But we've also got other options, right? We've got Baptist here, we've got Methodist hospitals here. So all the major medical institutions are right here in Memphis. You can get any kind of help you need right here locally and not have to travel out to other states and things like that. All right, and I'll say as a little bonus side note to that, if you're somebody in the medical field mm -hmm. looking for opportunities. Yeah, you know, great medical employments here. Yeah, great um, employment opportunities in the medical field. We actually get contacts quite a bit from people yeah. that are relocating here just to come to work at St. Jude. Yeah. Yeah, we sure do. Now that was a pro, and I'm gonna follow up again, like I said, with another pro. And this one I think is also good for your health. This one's a big one here, I think, because here in Memphis we have got some fantastic, great craft beer. Wait a minute, Jared. I think the pro is the water, not the beer. Well, you got the aquifer. Yeah. Gets you the great water. Yeah. Which makes the great craft beer. That's like right. what you got here at uh Wiseacre. Why do you think I even brought us to Wiseacre, Chris? Okay, good point. Yep. I got him. Anyway, that's what you do have here. We've got some of the some of the cleanest water. I don't have always, to do much to it. Yeah, I've always here. been told we've had some of the cleanest water in the country. I mean, we drink the water right out of the tap. We don't have any of those soft water 
deals you see on people's mm -hmm. faucets over the country. We're definitely not not running low on water like they're they're doing out west. So I've always been told, and I believe we've got some of the best, cleanest water right here in Memphis, Tennessee, straight out of the tap. Which is kind of, you know, I think that's surprising for some people because you think, if you didn't know any better, where do you think? Where do you think we get the water from? The river that, the, the huge river that flows right by. But no, it's the aquifer. It actually, I guess it comes from the river to the aquifer. Yeah. Here you go though. Great, high quality water here. And uh, what's your favorite craft beer? Um, I like the Tiny Bomb here at Wiseacre. Yeah, it's pretty good. We gotta go get one. For our next con on the list, this seemed like a good a good way to talk about it here because we're, we're driving out, on uh, we're on the 40 right now, we're going to 240. We're heading out to do our Cordova videos and I know some of y'all been waiting for those. So so get down in the comments and, and celebrate if you're the person that's uh, <laughs> waiting for us to do the Cordova. I don't know why we hadn't got out. To, we actually did go out to do them. Chris was, it was the day that, you know, if you watched another video and I mentioned that Chris was sick and wasn't there for that video, it was right around that time. Uh, yeah. You know, so. The video wasn't up to par, so we, we held back on it. We're going to reshoot it, right, Jared? Yeah, we are. We are. We're today, actually. But before we get into that, the next con here is just some of these drivers that are driving yeah. out here, especially out here on uh, I-40 and the 240 loop. Yeah. Um, it can get kind of crazy. It can. They're out of control. So people ask me all the time about crime in Memphis. Uh, the crime affects me in the biggest way in Memphis are these uh, reckless drivers on the I-40, 240 loop. Yeah, they're running around here like crazy, weaving in and out of traffic. I mean, and then, you know, I, I was driving in from Collierville, so from Collierville, that stretch into downtown, I passed four wrecks in, in just in that one drive. Uh, we just passed a wreck going the other way here. Um, we've already had cars just zooming by us yeah. here already. We really need a bigger police presence on the I-40-240 loop. Yeah, we really do. But uh, that is what it is, you know, that's, that's you know, you've got that somewhere. I feel like it's worse here than some places. Uh, but I do want to end on our last big pro, which I think is one of the biggest pros uh, why you probably are even looking at Memphis, maybe in the first place. And here it is, y'all, the last the last pro here. While Chris is getting gas, you saw it's a little high here at this spot. Yeah. Where we are out today, it's, uh, what is it, 325 here. Yeah. Um, but my, we, my normal spot when I drove by this morning was uh, 309. Yeah, 309. I've gotten as low as 295. So that's what you got around here, but just this cost of living, y'all. Uh, we're glad the gas prices have come down. Grocery prices, uh, as they, they're below the national average. Housing prices on the lower end as well. No state income tax. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Matter of fact, you can make a whole video just about that, don't you think? I think so. So, you know, that's what we're gonna do. You wanna know all about the cost of living here in Memphis? We're gonna get into some things. Some things actually, too, have changed and might really surprise some people. So you wanna see yeah. that, you wanna know what's going on with that. Uh, you need to uh, go ahead and watch the video. I'm gonna see if we can uh, spread apart here. I'm gonna pop it up right here, where Chris was, okay? It's hard to really angle this. Right there, check that video out if you wanna know all about the cost of living right here in Memphis. 